George reads your comment. Comments? Because we didn't get to those yesterday. The first comment is personal and very special to me by Fine Gaming Connoisseur. And he wrote, like many of you wrote, concern for my health. A few episodes ago, in this particular episode, I showed you that I forgot to edit my own videos and I was not feeling well. This is the time I was throwing up and <laughs> drinking Bakari sweat. This part should have been edited out, guys. I apologize for missing that section. And Fine Gaming Connoisseur wrote, Before I clicked on this video to watch it, I thought to myself, Freedom is the only MCN that actually cares and thinks about all the small channels that are going to be left floundering after February 20th. And that's because we negotiated the license for all of you to use position music and audio micro for free, even if you get unlinked by YouTube. And Epidemic Sound said yes as well. So you will get all three libraries, whether or not you make the 4K, 1K rule to help you keep growing. More on that soon. The personal comments started when George finished his bottle of Bakari Sweat halfway through the video, I felt like reaching out and passing him another one through my tablet screen. Now, how many CEOs do you know of that makes you want to do that? I know of only one. Take it easy for the next few days, George. No need to make any videos while you're unwell. We, at least I, will understand. Heck, you've already done so much for us, much more than any other MCN, as it turns out. If loyalty and gratitude is earned, George has already earned mine. Big hugs, fine gaming connoisseur, and everybody else who expressed concern about me. That's very touching, Freedom Family. It means a lot to me. Thank you. We Love Comics wrote a critical comment. And please, don't use all caps next time. It looks like you are shouting. Instead of presenting music and how it helps YouTube, how about talking about how they target certain channels and automatically flag all their videos as inappropriate even when every single video, when it gets reviewed, gets overturned. In his case, all the videos that he uploads get flagged as inappropriate for advertisers and when he challenges them, they get approved. Has this happened to you? Did you find a solution? Please tell us down there in the comments below if you did. I have a suggestion. Check your tags and keywords that you use in your video descriptions for any charged words, political words like guns. Even if you are a gaming channel and you're reviewing a game that has guns in the title, that may be enough for YouTube to automatically flag your video as inappropriate for advertisers. If you find this is happening and you can't edit out your tags or keywords that you feel may be charged, then upload your videos as unlisted. Do not let them go public until after YouTube has manually reviewed your videos for monetization and then make them go public. That's the only solution I know of that works if you can't fix it by editing your metadata. Hope this helps. Supreme Emperor Mittens wrote, there is something wrong with your Freedom Channel banner. Why does that guy look so grumpy? First, no caps please next time. And he's referring to this guy right here. Why is he looking so grumpy? Why is he even in the Freedom Channel banner? Well, if you look down, he is part of MGN Brazil. What is MGN Brazil? The multi-gaming network in Portuguese. And as you can see, it's one of our largest channels with over 100,000 subscribers. And here he is, Mr. Grumpy. I think you're right. It may be better to pick a photo of him smiling. I will let our graphic designer know. Jesse Tattoo Gaming asked a crypto question. What percentage will Freedom be taking of our mining efforts as power consumption is the real cost of mining? He's referring to the crypto miner that I talked about in yesterday's video. Click that I in case you missed it, the many updates video where I showed you how the crypto miner looks and how much will Freedom keep? It's a good question. I'd love to know what you think. Since we're developing this, we also haven't finalized the business model for it. Should we just take a flat 85% or 90%? Should it be tied to the same revenue share as on your YouTube channel? Tell me down there in the comments below what you think. 
I read all the comments and I would love to hear what you think we should have as a revenue share for the crypto miner. Dr. Dunk wrote about two topics. The Music Factory livestream is really useful if you stream. What is that? On our Music Factory channel, we now have a 24-7 live stream. And here you can listen to all the music that's available for you for free from our Music Factory catalog, what Freedom owns outright. And it's still loading. If you click that eye, it'll take you directly to this live stream where you can chat with us right here. And of course, you can download everything from musicfactory.tm linked right there on the live stream. Hope this helps. Dr. Dunk also wrote about crypto. He said, the mining software looks so great. Wish all programs will be that easy to use. Exactly what I was looking for. Does it support currencies like Ethereum? To which I replied, yes, our crypto miner will support Ethereum, Zcash, and all the major coins. In fact, we are building it to support every single coin and new coins as they become available. Why is that important? Well, because new coins may be the most profitable because they are new. <laughs> as coins get more established, their value gets set, but sometimes new coins can outperform established coins we want to make sure we give you the flexibility to maximize your revenue. Mark Heider asked a safety question. How much money can you make with crypto? Can it slow down a PC? Is it safe? To which I answered, yes, mining is safe. It is meant to run while your computer is idle, like when you are sleeping or doing things like reading email. It is not meant to run while playing games. Why is that? Because crypto mining uses your GPU primarily to earn revenue. Your graphics processing unit is also what games use. If you try to do both at the same time, it's going to slow everything down. The amount of money you make depends on your hardware and how long you let the software run. You can earn as much as $100 a month or more, or a dollar a month or less, and everything in between. For example, if you just use your CPU to mine, you'll probably be making less than a dollar a month because the CPU is not efficient at solving the complicated math problems that GPUs are. The whole point of crypto is you're getting paid for verifying financial transactions, just like a bank gets paid whenever you send money to another bank or pay with your credit card. Those fees are collected by banks. Well, you become the bank in the crypto world. You now collect the fees because you are actually verifying financial transactions between people transferring crypto, you now become the middleman who gets paid a fee for being part of that verification process. So that's why it is legal. You're not doing anything bad. You're not laundering money. You're not selling illegal substances. You're simply helping in a financial decentralized world that we call crypto. Hope this helps. Now there is the issue of taxation. How do you declare your crypto profits? To make that more simple, in the first version of the crypto miner that we're gonna release, it'll just be a rental agreement. You're renting your computer's CPU and GPU to freedom, to run, to mine crypto. So the money you make can be simply declared as rental income for your computer hardware. That's something that's well understood and common in all countries. Some countries already have established crypto laws like Japan, where it's completely legal to earn money on crypto. In fact, they were the first country in the world to legalize using crypto as a means of payment instead of the Japanese yen. Pretty cool, huh? But many countries don't yet have laws around spending crypto as a means of payment or how to declare your income that you've earned on crypto in your taxes. So we're gonna make it simple by making it a rental agreement at first, but in the future, of course, we will let you just keep the crypto if you choose to. You don't need to cash it out. And in the first version, it'll only be a cash out, but in future versions of the crypto miner, you will be able to keep the crypto or transfer it to one of your own private wallets. Hope this helps. All right, guys, it is 4.44 a.m. I'm approaching my 5 a.m. deadline. That's when I have to go and help my kids get ready for school. So I'm going to leave it here. There's a lot more comments that I want to read, 
but I'll have to get to them in future episodes. In the meantime, thank you again for being so caring about my health. That is very touching. And I love how all of you are helping each other grow together as a family by replying to each other's comments and answering each other's questions. That's what I love about the Freedom Family, how we all help each other grow together. Who am I? Well, I am Papa George, George Sunpie, and a guy who has a new camera. Hey, how come none of you commented on, didn't George get a new camera? It looks different than what he's done before. Like, I can see below his waist. <laughs> Did you guys notice? Yes, this is a new camera. Do you want to see the behind the scenes footage of the new setup for the George Show that lets me film like this with all this space now? If I need it, maybe I should do some jumping jacks or uh, tumbles in future episodes. <laughs> ask me down there in the comments below and thou shalt have it if you ask it for the behind the scenes uh, video. So I'm George, CEO and founder of Freedom for Freedom and the Freedom Family and the Crypto Family and all the other families that we may create in the future like our MGN Studio game development family that I mentioned we hired our head of game dev in a previous episode the many changes one I linked to up there in the eye till next time hopefully 24 hours that's the commitment I'm making to all of you guys that I want this to be a daily show and even I have to stay up till 5 a.m. <laughs> like I'm doing today, I'll do my best to make this a daily show. So see you in 24 hours or less. I'm George and you've been watching. Click that I to partner with Freedom and join the Freedom family so we can all grow together. You get many perks like position music, you also get epidemic sound, a lot of other access to royalty free videos, sponsorships, and many things to help you grow. Just click the links down there in the description below to get involved in our community, our forums, our Discord chat servers, meet our graphics team, meet our community team, all of that on Discord and the forums. What are you waiting for? Get started. And we will grow together as a family because this is the Freedom Family. You are part of it, we are all part of it, and we're all growing together. To get more George, click that big F. That will subscribe you to Freedom Central, home of The George Show. And PewDiePie gave one of you, Freedom Family, a big shout out. Click that video to see the shout out and to see our new 3D sets for you. And click that video to see what YouTube recommends you watch next.